So if these benchmarks are anything to go by, AMD could be back on top again whenever it comes to the performance crown with Zen 4. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Terry. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys and gals are doing well. So there were some leaked benchmarks here. I'm going to put everything in this article uh, from Tom's Hardware down below so y'all can go check it out for yourself of a brand new Ryzen 7000 Zen 4 based CPU. In these leaked benchmarks, it was a uh, course 8 Zen 4 cores. So it was uh, 8 cores and 16 threads because it did have simultaneous multi-threading or SMT turned on. So and on top of that there too, it's also built Built on TSMC's uh, what is it here? Five nanometer manufacturing process. And that's great because it boasts a whopping 30% improvement in power efficiency and around 15% higher performance with a 1.8 times increase in density over the seven nanometer node for the existing Ryzen 5000 CPUs. And on top of that, whenever they were benching this with uh, Halo Infinite, it had a peak clock speed boost of 5.2 gigahertz. You know, while that's all fine and dandy, the really exciting part is in these images here, again, everything will be linked down below for you all. It looks like that the rumors might be true that Ryzen 7000 might actually have integrated graphics. In the documentation provided, there is a graphics engine called GFX 1036 that runs anywhere between 1000 megahertz and 2000 megahertz. And to go even further with that part of the rumor there, it looks like that recently AMD has added the GFX 1036 and GFX 1037 graphic IP blocks to the Radeon Linux driver. Now there's no indication if it was DDR4 or DDR5 memory that they used for these benchmarks, but it was 16 gigs of RAM. And as far as we know, a lot of industry insiders say that AM5 will only support DDR5. So yeah, look guys and gals, my thoughts on this is that this is pretty dang cool, especially if they're able to get these kind of speeds with an integrated graphics. Of course, it, that's been no problem for Intel for quite a few years now, so it's nice to see that AMD is actually going to be, hopefully, including integrated graphics, because personally, doing IT work, it's going to be so much easier to diagnose a bad graphics card by just plugging into the motherboard HDMI out, display port out on the motherboard instead of trying to find a spare graphics card lying around to troubleshoot. So this is going to be really, really cool. And hey, you never know, fam. Uh, it's going to be RDNA too, so that integrated graphics might even be able to game a little bit too if you don't have a graphics card at that point in time. Now, my big question here, because I do a lot of editing, so it will be great for my workflow for those speedy exports and whatnot, is that for the last few generations here now, Adobe has has been able to utilize the Intel integrated graphics along with utilizing an AMD add-in card or Nvidia add-in card to just make those export times from Premiere Pro like non-existent, you know, same thing for DaVinci Re Resolve as well. So I wonder if maybe AMD might release uh, their API or whatever you want to call it so that not only can you speed up those export times by having a really good graphics card like an add-in card, but you could also like render in the background on that integrated chip as well that would be pretty cool but yeah what do y'all think folks sound off in the comments below and i will catch you all next time